everyone, it's Leah. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I just forgot to change my lights. Hold on. Um, first of all, you will recognize that I am not in my normal filming spot. I'm in my bathroom, hence the towels and the shower curtain and yeah, that is because it is currently, what time? 8.30 at night and as you know, at 8.30 it's dark outside and I don't have lights because I don't know, I'm just not to that status yet. Um, so I don't have lights and I obviously don't have light from the sun. So I was running out of options. And so I was like, you know what? The best lighting in my apartment is my bathroom because I have, uh, what are they called? Smart bulbs in my bathroom. So here we are. Anyways, you don't care why I'm in my bathroom. Moving on. It's really, really faded because like I said, I got it years ago like it's really freaking old and i absolutely never wear it so it's just been sitting in my closet fading away but i just don't have the heart to get rid of it because it's so so beautiful you know anyways i love disney a lot <laughs> i am constantly watching disney movies listening to my playlist that's like six hours long <laughs> all the time um and so uh yeah i just realized when I was making my list of video ideas that every single one of them just about were Disney themed. So honestly might be becoming a Disney YouTuber. I don't know. I'm sorry if you subscribed and you don't like Disney videos. Um, I'm rambling. <laughs> I think it's been out long enough that I could compile a list of all the things that I love and recommend for you guys to go check out. Anyways, we're gonna start, let's start. Okay, so the first thing on my list is probably my favorite thing to be on Disney Plus and probably will forever be my favorite thing and that is The Mandalorian. Just the acting, the music, the, what's it called? Um, the film, the way it's filmed, what's that called? <laughs> There's a word for that, I don't know. Anyways, the way it's filmed is incredible. There's surprises around every corner. There's a cliffhanger at the end of the season. It's just a really, really good show. Baby Yoda is everything. <laughs> you need to go watch it because it'll change your life. The second thing that I love on Disney Plus is The World According to Jeff Goldblum. This show is so genius and it's so funny. First of all, I just love Jeff Goldblum. If you don't love Jeff Goldblum, I don't understand. If you've never heard of it, basically it's Jeff Goldblum. Each episode he's exploring a different, not phenomena, but like just a different aspect of society. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right wording for it. For example, one episode he delves into the world of gaming and you know has an entire episode about that. He has an entire episode about ice cream, RVs. It's amazing. It's a really, really good show. Um, if you like that sort of documentary kind of thing. And if obviously you're a fan of Jeff Goldblum, you've probably already watched it. But if you haven't, get on it. The third thing I recommend on Disney Plus is called One Day at Disney. And I know I've watched the full documentary. It's like an hour, I believe, but I think they have it broken down into like little episodes. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I have watched the full documentary. Basically, what it is, is it is highlighting a bunch of different people that work in different aspects of the Disney company and just kind of like about how they started working for the company, what their role is, how they inspire others with it. It's just really, really cool if you're a fan of the company as a whole because you get to see all these little working parts that you wouldn't see anywhere else, you know? Next thing I love on Disney Plus, and this is the last original that I have to recommend, and that is the Lady and the Tramp movie. I know a lot of people were iffy about this. Honestly, I was too. I was a little bit nervous about it. I was like, uh, thinking it didn't look good. It's just kind of weird. Like, why are they recreating it? Um, but I broke down and I watched it and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, if you didn't know, if you're a fan of the Marvel world, um, the girl that plays Valkyrie in Thor actually plays Lady, which is really cool. And I liked that because I really like her. Um, so that's 
interesting. <laughs> I liked the new little things they added, the new like little twists, I guess you could say. Um, just like extra stuff that doesn't fit in the original, you know, because obviously the live action is longer. It's just a really cute movie. And if you love dogs, like I do, you'll love it. I cried. That should not be a surprise to anyone, but it is such a good movie. You'll enjoy it, I promise. The next thing I've been loving on Disney Plus is having access to Pixar's entire library. Um, if you know me personally, I don't think I've really talked about it on this channel, but all of my favorite Disney movies just so happen to be Pixar. I'm just a Pixar girl. <laughs> I just think their movies are genius and beautiful and Oh, I just love them so much. <laughs> Having access to their entire library and being able to watch some that I haven't seen in a really long time because I didn't own it is just awesome. Like one that I was really excited about watching was Ratatouille because I haven't ever owned it before and it wasn't on any streaming services before and I didn't want to, you know, pay five dollars to rent it one time. Um, and so that was really cool to be able to watch that and just have that access whenever I want to watch it I can just be like boop let's watch some rats cook you know if you're a big Pixar fan like me you need Disney plus because it just it gives you all the access to Pixar you could ever dream of and that's all on my recommendation list for Disney plus um if this video didn't convince you to get Disney plus I don't know what will even if you're not a fan of like the animated movies or the kid stuff, they have Marvel movies, almost all of them. They have all the Star Wars movies, minus Solo as of right now. Um, but yeah, it's just a platform that has something for everybody and they're gonna keep consistently adding, they're upping their original stuff. Anyways, uh, before I go on any further, like I said, there's just something for everybody on Disney Plus, so I highly, highly recommend downloading it. This video could easily be hours long. I could just go on a full tangent about why Disney Plus is amazing, but I'll keep it short. <laughs> Comment below what you've been watching on Disney Plus, your favorite thing that they've added, if you're excited for any of the new content coming out, let me know in the comments, we can chat about it. If you did like this video and want to see more, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And you can turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video because as of right now, I don't have a schedule. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna get a notification just so you don't miss anything. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, day, week, whatever. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.